Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Barbie Puma collaboration doll. This is the African American version. I found her to be more interesting than the other one and I'm going to give you the reasons in a couple of seconds. Here is her packaging which I think is really really nice. You can see here the Puma logo at the bottom and then we have the Barbie signature logo on there and then at the top we have a very sort of 90s looking Barbie logo which I love because that's the Barbie that I grew up with. And the back is just this bright pink with some text on there feel free to pause it and read and i believe this is a 50 year anniversary of the sneaker that barbie is wearing so the main reason i found this doll to be more interesting obviously is because of the sculpt she uses i believe this is the second time that mattel has used it the first one is the Selma Dupar doll, which is somewhere in my collection as well. So she has this oversized pink jacket with some white detailing on there and some zipper details on the front, which I believe is a working zipper. But obviously this is meant to be worn open. This is what it looks like on the back. This is sewn into her outfit, so be very careful when removing it. I'm going to use really, really tiny scissors to cut this thread. This is obviously for the people who don't open their dolls and they want to display her in box. That way the jacket stays right in place. Her jacket has some mesh lining, which I am actually impressed by. I believe the stuff that they put on her wrist is some double-sided sticky tape, which I have seen in the past before, but you should be able to remove it pretty easily. It's got some fabric fuzz on it, which is not the most attractive thing in the world to see on a $50 doll, but comes off really easily, so don't freak out. So under her jacket, she has this very cool top that's like a sports bra with some mesh on it and it's a crop top, which is really nice, writing on the trim here. And then the back has a uh, closure there and this very weird, uneven situation here. All right, so I was able to undo it and then fix it so it's more even. Anyways, I love her top. I really like her outfit. And then she has these white leggings with the word Puma written on them down there in gold, which looks very cool. These don't have a closure, so I guess they just slide on and off. Hopefully you can use them on other dolls. And then down here, of course, we have her shoes, which are the main point of this doll to celebrate the Puma sneakers. They have a little bow on the back just like the real shoe does and it is sewn into the shoe. The shoe has two little holes on the back and then there is a thread in there that kind of keeps it all together. The shoe design is pretty similar to the real shoe so obviously they paid a lot of attention to that detail because this is the main selling point of this doll. And then she also comes with this ring which is a Puma on there and it works the way that the 90s Barbie rings did with just a little hole hole on the finger there and it is removable and it kind of snaps onto her hand as well but if you don't want to use it this is what you get so just be aware of that and then here is her sculpt as I said it comes with these oversized glasses which are removable again we're gonna go back with the little very very fine scissors to cut this thread here here is her face up under her glasses I personally am not a big fan of the style they did her eyes in but I like that they made them brown I like her lip color as well and you can see one of the best things about this doll is the shape of her lips I think they are so beautiful. She has some baby hairs painted on both sides, which I think is really pretty actually. And then on the top here as well, her hair is all brown with some pink highlights and it's in two big braids on the back. Pretty cute. And then she also comes with these gold hoop earrings, which are removable. You get this big hole there on the side, which you can put other earrings in or use nothing if you don't mind the hole. That's pretty much it for her. I had to get her because she is a split with a friend. I don't think that a doll of this quality is worth $50. I would maybe pay more like $30 for her. However, that's just my opinion. If you do buy her at $50, there's no reason to regret it. But if you don't have her and she doesn't sell out, I would definitely get her on sale. Let me know what you guys think of her in the comments. If you have her or why you have not bought her. I'm curious to hear all those things. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you again very soon, hopefully. Bye!